Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my Christian Faith Planner. This is my Christian Planner, the one that I use for this year writing sermon notes in it as opposed to my sermon notebook. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is my old sermon notebook. And this is where my pastor does series ser sermon series. And what I would do is I would just write over my notes into this notebook and add some stickers. Sometimes they are sermon appropriate. Other times they are just random stickers that I use just to beautify the page. I learn in chunks. I like to break up my sermon notes because in church I'm writing sermon notes, you know, on my iPad straight down the page but here it's broken up into chunks and into different areas and I'm able to study it better and follow it through so that's what I was using last year this year I am using my Christian faith planner I got this as a gift from someone from my church and I said you know what I think I'm going to use it for sermon notes because it has a weekly section for sermon notes and on the right side it says actually Bible study but I'm not going to use that for Bible study this was last week's, the week before last sermon. So while I'm in church, I take my iPad and I will use my iPad and my Apple Pencil to take notes and record at the same time. I use Notability, so it syncs my notes along with my uh, with the sermon that's being preached. And once the sermon is finished being preached, either Sunday evening or one day during the week, I will just go into this Christian planner, look through my sermon notes, and I will pull out the main nuggets of the sermon and see as you can see I'm pointing to the fact that I had the sermon series categorized there was a time when I didn't have it categorized and that's why I was putting it in the notebook but now that I'm able to do that in my iPad I don't need the other notebook and I can just use a Christian planner this is the weekly section of the planner we are reading through the book of the Bible again so each day I'm just jotting down um, a nugget from the chapter that we read we only read one chapter a day so this week's I will be doing my setup for this week's sermon I'm using a printable from praise and pray so I have I started with that because there's print pray and slay and then there's praise and pray and this was a Bible kit that I'm using and I printed them two to a page I did it also in my big Bible just as a general scripture page but this one I'm using in my sermon notebook for this week. I chose this Bible kit for my sermon series for this week. It's not series appropriate in terms of the subject matter because my pastor is preaching on the realities of hell. But the reason why I chose this, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, because he was preaching the last two weeks about where are we getting our information concerning heaven and hell and that how disrespectful the world and even sometimes the church is concerning the idea or the notion of heaven which is real and also hell and the fact that while God will send man to heaven because of Jesus Christ and Christ alone he he is equally as just and holy to send men to hell. And it wasn't a sermon to scare us, but it was a sermon for us to really think about our rationale behind hell and how people just make it seem like it's going to be such a light place to be or a figment of our imagination. But that's for another video. I will be doing some scripture journaling on that, um, on the realities of hell. And it's the word of God that gives us a picture of what hell is going to be like as best as humanly possible we can understand and what heaven is going to be like. And that's where we get our source of information, not from Hollywood, not from theory, not from sitting around talking to people and conjuring up all of these things about hell and heaven and things like that. But scripture and Jesus explicitly tells us what it's going to be like and what the wicked could look forward to. And he was coming from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 6 through 8, and it said, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his 
power. So there is a place for the saints of God and there is a place for the unsaved sinner who does not obey the gospel or who rejects Jesus Christ. These Vin Von Von Le, uh stickers I'm using for my stash, actually there are messed up stickers. I, for some reason, the file that I was printing, it was printing out with a black background and she, I spoke with her and she helped me fix it. However, I printed it out like three or four times on clear sticker paper and everyone knows how expensive that sticker paper can be. So I decided to just use it anyway. It wasn't too bad. So instead of throwing it away and wasting all of that paper, I decided to use it in my weekly Christian planner. So if you can save a messed up sticker paper, save it, use what you can, and then chuck the rest because nothing goes to waste. There you have it. Just something quick and simple. Thank you for watching.